Hello everyone and welcome once again to Ruby's Classic Cooking. And today I'm making pastry. I'm going to make a pie later today and if you don't want to make your own pastry, that's great. You can just buy a frozen pie crust or you can buy one of those kind that come rolled up in a plastic sleeve and then roll that in your pie plate. Quick, easy, simple. But today I don't have one in my house, so I figured I'll show you how to make it from scratch using the food processor. This is how my favorite way to make pastry. It takes me longer to measure up my ingredients than it does to mix up the pie crust in my food processor. So anyway, let's get started. I've got two thirds of a cup of frozen shortening. Well, actually this is lard. You use shortening or lard for your pie crust. And now I'm gonna add two cups of all purpose flour to that, just like that. And a half a teaspoon of salt. Just regular plain old table salt. That goes in there. And now I'm going to put this on my food processor. I'm going to knock that off of there with my finger. Clean fingers, by the way. I'm going to put this on my food processor. I'm going to turn this, use my, use my pulse to turn it on and off a few quick turns. And that will make it look like um, coarse oatmeal. You don't want to over process it. Uh, anyway, that's, I'll come back and show you what that looks like. Okay, here's my food processor after having pulsed it a few times. And that's what it looks like, uniform. And you can't see my shortening or my flour anymore. It's all mixed together nicely. And there we go. Now that goes back on my food processor. And I'm going to add, oops, I'm going to add to that a teaspoon of vinegar, which is a very odd ingredient to add to your pie crust. But this works perfectly. I'm just going to do this, add my teaspoon of uh, vinegar. Now that I've added my vinegar, I put this back on my machine and then I let it run for a few seconds to blend that in. And now I'm going to add three and a half ounces, that's about 100 milliliters of cold water, really cold water. And I'm going to put this through my feed tube as my machine is running. And as soon as it starts making itself into a ball of dough, I stop. I bring it over here and I'll work it a few minutes and then I put it, wrap it up in some plastic wrap and put it in the fridge for 20 minutes. And then my two, I've cut, I've cut it in half and made two like hamburger patties. And there we go. There's my ball of dough. So, love my food processor because this is very quick and easy. Now I'm just going to Sprinkle a little flour on my pastry mat, and like I've said before, I have a pastry mat, so I use it. If you don't have a pastry mat, I didn't have one for years and years, and I just use my clean countertop for this. Now let's just turn this out. The essence of nice flaky pastry is you don't want it to be warm, and today's an extremely warm day, so it's really going to be a challenge to make sure it doesn't get too warm. That's why you use frozen shortening or lard when you're doing this and why you use ice cold water to mix with it. Because you want your pastry, you want there to be a maximum difference of temperature between your pastry and your oven when you put this in your oven. Now I'm just gonna put this down here on my mat. You can see that, oops, come this way. There, see, and I've just patted that into a big half flat patty. I cut that in half. There's my lovely pie crust. I'm just going to make that into a flat hamburger patty shape. Now I've got my my uh, patty shaped, thick hamburger patty shaped pieces of dough to go in my fridge for an hour, for one hour. And then uh, this is going to make two nine inch pies. So I'll be back and show you rolling out pie crust. Hi everyone. Here I am back again with my pie crust. It's been an hour in the refrigerator and it has firmed up very nicely and it's now ready to roll it out as a pie crust because today I'm going to make a lemon meringue pie and I needed some pie crust for it. So here we go. I'm going to put that in the middle of my pastry mat and I'm just going to roll this out and you can see the concentric circles on a pastry mat that go out to 12 inches. So I'm going to roll it out to about 10 inches or so. And I'm going to put in my nice big pie plate, my nice deep dish pie plate by Pampered Chef. I don't this color anymore. 
Now they're gray, I think, or some other color. <laughs> but it's a nice stoneware one. Very heavy. The only thing is I can't freeze it, so I usually only use it to make fresh pies in. So today I'm making a fresh pie. So let me get my handy dandy rolling pin out here. And I roll this out to about a quarter of an inch thickness, which is about uh, probably about uh, an eighth of a of a centimeter. Quite thin. Oh, come on, you've all seen pie crust, you know how thick it's supposed to be. And I'm just going to roll this out. And I keep moving it around a bit. I have a little bit of flour here on my board to keep it from sticking. And then I just kind of bring this up over my rolling pin a little bit so I can turn it 90 degrees and flip it over so that I can keep it rolling and keep it making make itself into a circle for me which it more or less does but it won't be perfect I will have to trim off the edges in fact today I may go out to the 12 inch mark because this is a really deep dish pie plate and see I just keep moving around my rolling pin so I end up with uh, it's ending up being nice and level there we go one more little bit here to roll out here and it'll be all over the 12 inches everywhere okay yeah I rolled this out into a, a larger than a 12 inch shape it's not exactly a circle but pretty close now the tricky bit is I'm going to bake that in my oven for 10 minutes till it's golden brown so right now I'm just going to roll this gently around here Try not to handle your pastry too much. You don't want to heat it up. You want it to stay nice and cold. That's what's the whole point of putting it in the refrigerator. And I'm just going to roll this up here and I'm going to take my pie plate here. Now lift this up and I'm going to just roll this gently into my pie crust, just like that, into my pie plate. Roll, roll my pie crust into my pie plate. Now I'm just going to ease this over the edges into the pie plate. Here, and I don't want to stretch it because if you stretch your pie pie crust, it will shrink when you cook it. Here we go. If I was being a real perfectionist today, I would put this pie crust into the fridge for an hour before I bake it, but I'm a bit in a hurry for my pie. <laughs> I never do things right totally by the rules, but if you want to do it totally by the rules, get your pie crust all rolled up nicely, neatly put in here and then put it in put it in the fridge for an hour but I'm going to skip that step now I'm going to make sure that my pie crust is all down here at the edges where it belongs okay there we go and now I'm going to take this and take my my butter knife from the fridge from, from the fridge <laughs> I'm going to take my butter knife just from the drawer and I'm just going to cut this off around the edges like this now this, a lemon meringue pie is a single crust pie, so I only need one pie crust, one crust, the base here. But I do need to cook it first. So I'm going to cook my pie crust first. And it's empty. I need to take my fork and I need to, well, they call that docking your pie crust. All it means is you're going to prick a whole bunch of little holes in here with your fork. And you're going to do this all over the bottom of your pie, crust, pie, pie plate. Because if you don't do this and you cook your pie crust, it will swell up. It will puff up and it will fill your whole thing with pie crust. So have this big flaky puff ball in here instead of a pie crust. Now you can also use special, um, you can buy special, um, special beans or you can buy uh, like a chain of uh, I can't even remember what they call that. Never mind that then. But you just put these spaces about every, that's about every centimeter, half centimeter, about half an inch apart. Oh, there's my oven beeping. It's now up to 425 degrees. Make sure you get the edges too, right around here so it doesn't pop up here. There now. And if you want to use a fork on the edge of your pie crust, you can do that too, but I'm not going to do that today because I've got my 
It's right neatly by the edge here. Okay. There's my pie crust all docked. Now it's going to go into the oven for 10 minutes. There now you can see my pie crust. It's all nice and docked inside of it. And now I'm going to put that in my preheated 425 degree oven for 10 minutes until it comes out golden brown. And then I'll show you what it looks like. Then I'm going to put it to one side to cool. And then um, while I do that, I'll be starting making my pie filling. Well, here's my pie crust, nice and fresh and hot from the oven, all golden brown and delicious. I'm now going to put this to one side to cool. So I hope you enjoyed my video today on making pie crust and creating and creating a pre-cooked pie shell. Now, of course, if you're making a kind of pie where you don't need to bake a pre-cooked pie shell, you wouldn't have to do this step. This is for something like a lemon meringue pie or coconut cream or banana cream or something like that. So I hope you enjoyed my video today. I hope you'll like, subscribe, and come back and see what I'm cooking next time on Ruby's Classic Cooking. See you then. Bye for now.